And welcome back, guys, to the MLG stream covering the Acer Team Story Cup match between Empire and, of course, Acer. Uh, so far, Acer is up 3-1. to one. Scarlet taking two victories. Innovation taking one. Happy being the sole victor for Empire so far. Uh, now we're in game number five between Koss and Innovation. Of course, I'm joined by Graham Rogers from Base Trade TV. And uh, we saw Innovation just win a, a, a great TVT. <laughs> you think you can do it again? I absolutely think you can do it again. But the guy he's coming up against is known for playing like the most StarCraft, period, Empire <laughs> Koss. So to say the least, Koss has experience in TVTs. Maybe he's got a trick up his sleeve. I don't know. But if you play Standard versus Innovation, that could be anybody's game. I don't know. You know, Koss is, um, I haven't seen any of his super recent games, I have to admit, but he's known for, for just being really solid mechanically and especially with macro. This guy will make so many units so fast. Uh, I do think he'll, he's more likely to play a bio composition than the mech one, although Newkirk Precinct is, is such a good map for mech. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like innovation almost always goes bio these days in TVT, so even on this like super mech friendly map, we may end up just seeing a bio versus bio match. Of course, uh, over here in the bottom of tan location, up three to one is Acer. They represented the Red Terran innovation. Of course, his opponent in the lower corner on the right side of the map, spawning blue, spawning Terran. It is, of course, Empire's costs. And, I, you know, regardless of Mac or Bio, I'm feeling very strong about Banshees here for both <laughs> players. I mean, this map really lends itself to that, I think, more than Mac and more than Bio. Definitely. I mean, the, the, the air distance between the bases is so much shorter than the ground distance. Of course, you can go straight across the map on the air ground. You have to kind of go all the way up to basically the middle of the map and then kind of work your way across. Uh, Banshees are just so strong here. Uh, it's, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard not to go Banshee. Um, unless you try to do some weird thing where you, like, go Viking Raven with a faster expansion and assume they're going to go Banshee. You know, I've I've not seen any professional players do this since like the days of Beastie Cutie, and it is my personal favorite TVT go-to build. But there's like this really strong one base all in that involves tanks and ravens. And I've seen Koss do it before in the past, but not of recent days. But I feel very strongly that like like he could definitely take the macro game toe-to-toe -to -toe with innovation. 100 percent I believe in that. But I think if he really wants to catch him off guard, some sort of all-in would be the best way to go about it. Yeah, in fact, um, if you think back, actually, one of Innovation's um, most prominent TVT losses uh, in the last couple months was to Maru Prime. Uh, in, it, was in, in, it was in Season 2 of, of WCS Korea. And Maru Prime, I think he two of the games he did that one base all in, and it just totally crushed Innovation. And uh, obviously, Maru is probably the king of, of micromanaging those, those situations, but uh, Koss could definitely do that as well now. It's, it's hard in a team situation, though, to go for one base all in when you're down one to three. Yeah, that's the problem. You've got the weight of not just... It's not a personal loss here. It, you're representing your team. You're trying to bring them up. You're trying to do what you can. Koss might be fine with taking a loss against Innovation, but, you know, Empire Ants might not be. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, they they, they, they want to get at least one or two wins on the board before the end of the season for, for pride, if for nothing else. Um, of course, a, the Acer Team Story Cup is, is pretty much all the best teams in the world uh, outside of a couple of the ones that play exclusively in Korea. Uh, and it's, I mean, it's, it's losing in, in, in this type of team match is no shame. I mean, you're, you're up against Innovation, Scarlet, and uh, MMA. If, 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 even if he beats Innovation, you've got probably That's MMA. That's Yeah. Yeah, like who's up next is like even scarier than who's currently playing. The on-deck player for Acer is always going to be really scary, but... Uh, just a quick note here, too, as we get closer to the end of the series, for those who don't know, if you've never watched the Acer Team Story Cup before, one really important fact is when you're on match points, you can resurrect one player from your roster. So the big question is, Empire Ends, who is some of the most powerful Terrans in Europe, which of them do they bring back if Koss goes out this game? Because, again, it's innovation that they have to fight against. Yeah, and, and you also have to think, okay, even if, even if we put in a player and they beat innovation, who's also the best player to take the next couple games as well. Because, exactly. I mean, beating Innovation is great, but it really, it's all about winning the actual entire series. And so, you have to, maybe, in some situations, in fact, um, like, let's say you had a, like a super TVT sniper, but you're like, this guy may not be able to beat Scarlet or Bly if, if Scarlet's resurrected, if they put a Bly next. You say, well, even if he may be your best guy against Innovation, 
you know, he may not be great. Or, or you, you look at the next four maps in a row and say, we need someone who can play all four of these maps excellently. And that's a really tough spot, which is why you never want to be down like one to four or, to, or two to four, even worse, zero to four. And I think it's that extra team dynamic that makes this so much more interesting. As, as a StarCraft fan myself, I've seen countless tournaments, best of threes, best of five, best of seven, but a best of nine that's a clan war is always more interesting. It's always more dynamic, but uh, getting back to this real quick, we do have that Banshee coming out, and did he scan it? Oh, it's so on the edge. No! Oh, oh just, just barely. But you know, he did see a factory with no add-on. He can predict it's coming, that much just for certain. Yeah, so it, oh, but Innovation actually gets a perfect scan, so he knows there's absolutely no chance that Banshee, because he sees the fact that, of course, oh. um, there, there's just a star port with nothing on it. There's not even a tech map in sight. Look at that Widow Mine. That is the perfectly positioned Widow Mine. If a Banshee or a Viking were to come out, this medevac is going to get hit right away. It's oh. not going to die, but it's going to be darn low. Yeah, 25 health and Do you turn around gonna... now? I know it's a it's a tough choice because now suddenly two marines, one missile turret volley, like yeah, you like can one die. Viking. I mean, or what if there's another widow mine waiting for you? You lose <laughs> everything, right? That's it's... even worse. And and your your opponent obviously knows you're there because the widow mine spotted you. Okay, he's he's actually gonna play it safe and unload in the front. Looks like yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> not trying to go straight to the main. Well, with the Hellions coming in here too, he should be able to break this bunker. This one single Marine within this, the DPS is not gonna be that high, and the medevac will keep these units alive for absolute certain. The Vikings are going to be rallied back, but look at this, the splash damage on top of the SCV is not going to be an issue. Tank is going to try and get on in here, but looks like the bunker will hold. Oh, meanwhile, the Banshee actually does absolutely no damage. Missile Turret kills it before he even gets a single SCV kill, so both players kind of failing, although Koss at least minimized his well, losses. This is actually really important, though. If Koss wasn't outside the base, if if Innovation wasn't forced to pull SCVs, that Banshee wouldn't have been mismicroed yes. so poorly. So, he may not have done a lot of damage here at the front of the base, but he actually just saved his whole mineral line back at home. Yeah, I mean, he saved the mineral line, he, he actually got the Banshee kill in the way, and he still got about, I think, four oh, SCVs of repairing. He's gonna get in here, he finds a safe spot, and it loads into the natural base of innovation. Oh, he gets another three or four SCVs now. Is he gonna try to lift off and jet out there? The Minivac is so low. Yeah, he's gotta be careful. I think he's just gonna sacrifice this. Nope, yeah. actually gonna get four oh. out. Well done, actually. Very well done by Koss. He's looking great so far. Oh, now Innovation, he's... though. He's got a cloak yeah. Banshee in the main of Koss. Round number two. There's no energy to scan. Just Actually, just barely enough energy to scan, but holding off on it. There we go. Now pops it. Perhaps a little bit too late. The Banshee should get away from this. That's yeah. stealth juke. Oh, and there's that Widow Mine. A Widow Mine actually does one shot of Viking, unlike a Banshee yeah. and a Medivac that can take the hit and be almost dead. That Viking has to be careful. I think... I think Innovation is going to try to lure the Viking into the Widow Mine. He's sneaky, man. Innovation's a smart guy. He decloaks because he's out of energy, not because he was bait, but it's going to. Oh, oh, oh Kaz oh. pulling back. Kaz didn't fall for it, though, but Innovation clearly left that Banshee there intentionally to get the Viking to chase it. That was a really cool move. And he tried to make it look like an accident by letting it kind of run out of cloak and, like, oh, I just forgot yeah. to leave it here. Uh, wow, that was, you know, that almost worked, too. That would have been one of the sickest moves ever if that did work. <laughs> and of course, it's going to be something like Innovation who pulls that off, but uh, Cash showing that he's not too far behind the playstyles of Innovation doesn't fall for it, of course, which is probably equally notable, but outside the base of Innovation currently, there's two Hellions, and while they're not doing a lot of damage, they're keeping tabs. This is the same as leaving a couple Lings outside of your opponent's base. You know, they're not there to do a lot of damage, they just need to see when they move out. Of course, uh, Innovation's doing a similar thing with this Widow Mine. Oh, the Medivac's got to be careful. It's not one lose the Medivac to it of mine. Oh, oh, but all the Marines take oh. that hit anyways. And the tank, a little bit damaged. No kills, thankfully. Yeah, in, in a way, it hit the one thing that ensured there would be zero kills. Um, oh, I mean, of course, there's a lot of damage being put out, which is still great. Does he know? He's got to know it's there, though, because the, if it's going to recharge, it's going to do a lot more damage. And Innovation's pushing across the field. And if this Widow Mine goes off again, oh, and no. these Marines are almost dead as Innovation hits, that's going to be devastating. And Koss, Koss. be a disaster. Ugh, okay, so everything's low again, but nothing. Uh, one unit died. One Marine said, kind of sucks. Getting a turret up, not wanting to burn a scan, but oh, Innovation's going to be Doom dropping. Well, kind of Doom dropping ish into the main. It's going to take Tanks him one or two trips. Well, then, Tank Siege on the ledge can actually reach a lot of this part of the map. Oh, yeah. So, we might be able to find a good spot. But, okay, Marines in full, stimmed, now pushing in. Gonna go for back for, yep, round number two. It's a fairy. You don't see them just in real life. You see fairies being used in StarCraft 2. Uh, but Koss is now oh. back to defend, and the Medivacs are fairly low. Innovation has to be careful here. 
Well, the Siege Tanks do siege up, but perhaps a little late. Most of the bio has been picked off, and Innovation will be driven out of the base. Didn't really get too much done for that, unfortunately, but it definitely brought Cass's, like, to attention if he was slouching off before. Yeah, you know, not too many workers killed. You can see seven and six from, from both sides so far. Uh, units lost at this point is going to be very even, slightly favoring Innovation, but it's, it's pretty much a neck and neck game at this point. Both players are going bio. Upgrade-wise, both players are looking... Actually, Innovation is going to be a little bit ahead. He's working on 2-1, whereas Cost is just working on the armor. But now yeah. he's getting to eBay in the second armory, so... It's like he'll, he'll be behind in his attack, but if he doesn't miss a beat, um, he will be ahead in the armor upgrade. So it'll be, it'll be fairly even out. Yeah, because this is BioWars, this isn't mech versus bio or vice versa, it's just bio versus bio. Those upgrades do, in fact, actually kind of cancel each other out a, a little bit. But I want to point out to you, Cass did immediately throw down missile turrets after that drop. Not going to risk at all a second drop coming back in. And Innovation did try and poke, but was denied. And th this is a map where, I mean, Doom Drops are so powerful. We talked about how Banshees are good early on because Aerith is this short. Well, the same thing applies in Medivac, you're just about anything flying. So. You have to be really, really careful, and, and also, if you're out in the middle of the map or out by a third base, it looks like you're really close to your main. A third looks like it's right next to the main, but if you have to walk up there via the ground path, it actually takes a little bit of time. Well, look at this. In the exact same spot as he was able to sneak in before, Cass is going to get another drop off. This time, these Marines do have stim. Uh, gets a couple SCV kills, forced to pull some. Really pick up and get out of here, though. Looks like not going to be the case, just going to fight to his death. And, ooh, losing that medevac was a bit rough. Yeah, you know, that would have been an amazing drop if, if you didn't lose the medevac. I think he got 10 SCV kills with that drop, yeah. and he had 7 before. So, yeah. very, very successful, but, you know, boosting the medevac out would have been really icing on the cake there to, to keep that alive. He only has 2 medevacs with his army, so uh, healing <laughs> ability, innovation definitely has a, a much better medevac count. And that's the problem with a lot of Terran players, even at the professional level. It's they get complacent about replacing medevacs or keeping them alive later on. And that's not just this matchup, it's all matchups. And really, when you've got a lot of resources, making medevacs again, not a problem. But oh, Cass is actually trapped in a lot of his Marines. That could have been a really bad engagement for him. It could be. Luckily, with, with, with this many tanks pre-sieged, uh, Innovation didn't quite have the brass to just go up and charge him. Uh, oh, in God. fact, oh, and wait, this go, is... Cass just scans. He doesn't see the army, but it's because... A lot of us loaded up. This he is this again. is like this is a Pult style doom drop setting up going over to the base, but he's gonna have to bring this back home because Kaz is pushing and hard. It's, this it's is too about, late. I think he's he's committed. He's gonna have to sack the third base here. I don't see any way he can defend this. Yeah, it's lifted up immediately. Tries to repair it, just barely will escape. Marines can't chase oh. into the tank fire, of course. And now back at home, the missile turrets, there's only three of them. It's not gonna be enough to shut this down. Tanks unloading in full, SCVs being evacuated. The, oh, the upgrade's incredibly susceptible. 2-2 two, two is just close to finishing, but Innovation is not going to go for it. Takes the fight to the SCVs. Oh, and Kost trying to fight with SCVs, but there's not many units that have damage behind him. The support, he's got a couple tanks coming in, but Innovation is just tearing up Kost's entire main. More SCVs Once we'll get the a fight. bit of a base trade. SCVs also being pulled for Innovation on the other side of the field. Command Center even being rallied forward, but I think Innovation, yep, with a superior number on both sides of the map, will take another game. Wow. You know, it was just that, that drop that that cast didn't see coming. It, it, he was playing a beautiful game. It was, it was I would say it was pretty much dead even up until that, that mass until load up. But he just didn't see that one coming. And, you know, Innovation had just enough at home. Yeah, he had to lift a third and give that up. But he had enough to defend, and that's really what counts, right? That was so decisive. That was so game deciding. Yeah. <laughs> the way I can phrase that. I mean, this, the split up by Innovation, catching Cost off guard there, and... You know, you wonder if Koss had like a sensor tower in his main. Would that? I don't know. You still wouldn't have that much heads up time, and his army was on the map. There's a lot of ifs when it comes to TVT in yeah. general, and I think this one's too big a one for uh, you and I to tackle. <laughs> Definitely, that was that was an intense match though. But innovation with that doom drop, able to secure the win. That's going to put Acer up four to one. Empire has one player to revive, one last player to bring it all back from. Who's it going to be? We'll find out soon. Game six coming up next.